Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of last night's Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Now, I thought uh, last night's Royal Rumble was good. Uh, it wasn't great on uh, the Rumble match. I'll get to that. You'll know my uh, my feelings on the Rumble match. But uh, like always, I'm going to tell you the matches that were fought and give my reviews on them. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, start with the kickoff show match. Didn't get to see it, but it was the New Day versus Cesaro, Tyson Kidd, and Adam Rose. Uh, from, they show a little bit, of, a little clip of it during the uh, during the pay per view, and uh, it showed Tyson Kidd uh, picking up the win for him, Cesaro, and Adam Rose. So they won that match. Uh, now start with the card matches, the regular card matches. Uh, first match was New Age Outlaws versus The Ascension. And I thought this match was okay. Uh, good to see the New Age Outlaws back. Uh, I like The Ascension. I've seen, uh, you know, their uh, videos of when they were in NXT. Uh, they, hold the, they held the NXT Tag Team titles for a year. And their finisher I really, really like. Uh, but they got the win uh, over the new. Uh, the Ascension picked up the win. So, but all in all, it was an okay match. Uh, next was Uso, the Usos versus The Miz and Damian Mizdow for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Uh, not an okay match. Uh, the, the Usos got the win and they still retained the WWE Tag Team Championships, uh, which is cool. Uh, uh, next was Brie and Nikki Bella versus Paige and Natalia. Uh, typical Divas match. I mean, I like Paige. Uh, Natalia is pretty good. Uh, the Bellas, they're okay, but uh, you know that they're horrible on the mic and you know acting wise. But uh, Brie and Nikki picked up the win because uh, Brie, because Brie. Like Natalia was going for a, a tag to Paige, and then just Brie uh, just took uh, took out Paige. So, but overall, it was a typical Divas match. Uh, next was the, in my opinion, the best match of the night. It was the triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It was Seth Rollins versus John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, my opinion, like I said, best match of the night. Uh, Seth Rollins, John Cena, Brock Lesnar, they were all good. Uh, I liked uh, what Seth Rollins did off the top uh, turnbuckle when he just did that elbow into Brock Lesnar on the smash announce table. And we all thought that Lesnar was going to be taken out because he had a, I think a broken rib. Uh, and then out of nowhere, he, during the match, still during the match, he just came in the ring and took out Rollins and Cena, and Rollins was going for uh, the win, but Brock Lesnar uh, won and still retains the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship with the F5 to Rollins. Uh, but overall, my opinion was the best match of the night, you know, in my opinion. And the next was the main thing, which was the Royal Rumble, the Royal Rumble match. Now, this Rumble match, in my opinion, I thought was piss poor uh, it really was uh, but at number one I'm gonna go down the list uh, fast uh, the first entry was The Miz second was R-Truth uh, third was Bubba Ray Dudley surprise uh, entry uh, which is cool to see uh, four was Luke Harper five was Bray Wyatt who out of all the other stars was in there for like maybe like probably like maybe like 40 minutes or so. Uh, six was Curtis Axel, which he got screwed because uh, Eric Rowan was there and he took out Curtis Axel. But you know Axel wasn't even eliminated, so they just completely forgot about him. Uh, seven was Boogeyman, no surprise entry. Eight Sin Cara, nine Zack Ryder uh, makes his return after his injury. Uh, 10 was Daniel Bryan, which he got screwed also, uh, which everyone was pissed off about. 
11 was Fandango, 12 Tyson Kidd, uh, 13 Stardust, 14 uh, DDP, another surprise entry. Uh, good to see, you know, him in the, in the Rumble. 15 was Rusev, uh, 16 uh, Goldust. Uh, Rusev was also um, in the match for for a good amount uh, until the end. Uh, so 16 Goldust, 17 Kofi Kingston, 18 Adam Rose, 19 was Roman Reigns, uh, Big E was number 20, Damian Mizdow number 21, Jack Swagger 22, uh, 23 was Ryback, 24 was Kane who undoubtedly beat HBK's uh, record for eliminations in the Rumble. Uh, 25 is Dean Ambrose, uh, 26 is Tyus O'Neal, 27 Bad News Barrett, 28 Cesaro, uh, 29 was Big Show, and the last at number 30 was Dolph Ziggler. And your winner of the 2015 Royal Rumble is Roman Reigns. And I know a lot of people bitching about it. Uh, a lot of people canceled their WWE Network subscription and crashed it, crashed the cancellation uh, thing. Uh, all this backlash uh, with the fans. I mean, like they were cheering for him last year to win, uh, and then they, you know, they were booing Batista. Like they were really rooting for uh, Reigns last year in the Rumble, but now this year they're all booing him. Uh, so, but you know, I'm happy that uh, Reigns won the Rumble, uh, even though it was predictable. We all knew he was going to win because uh, they had like this billboard. Uh, which they posted that showed Reigns and Lesnar, but you know I thought they were I thought they were making it up, but I guess not. And then uh, the surprise you had The Rock come out and help uh, take and help take out uh, Big Show and Kane, which that was uh, really good. That was good that The Rock uh, was there. So Roman Reigns is going to WrestleMania, going to main event WrestleMania. So, so yeah, so that's it for my review of uh, last night's Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Uh, thank you all for watching and doing this video uh, on Monday. And uh, here on the East Coast, uh, we're going to be getting a uh, blizzard in a couple of hours. And, you know, for anybody who's uh, living out here uh, in New York and also on the uh, East Coast and Northeast, uh, stay safe. So, uh, yeah, so until the next video, I'll see you all later.